Today, I want to cover the Legendre transform with respect to how it's used in thermodynamics. <clears throat> in order to do that, we want to start with how the transform is used in mathematics, and then we'll proceed from there. Here, I actually show the Legendre transform, where up here, f is a function, some function of uh, two variables. We'll call them y and s. And then we have the derivative of the function. Notice I've never actually shown what the value of the function is. I might not actually know the value of the function. But I do have the, the derivative of the function. In this case, df of ys is x dy plus r ds. And this is what we'll see in thermodynamics all the time. So this is a perfect example. Now the Legendre transform itself, we're going to call it g with no, with no meaning here for Gibbs or any thermodynamic functions. These are just arithmetic functions. We'll say g is some function minus xy. Now, xy is a conjugate pair up here. x is one member of the conjugate, y is the other member of the conjugate. Or alternatively, we could have some function g1, which is our function, f of s, f, which is our function, minus the other conjugate pair, rs. All right, so <clears throat> what we do is we pick a conjugate variable pair, either xy or rs. I'm going to pick xy. You plug the variables into the transform derivative, i.e., you plug the variables into the derivative of the transform. Now, the transform is g equals f minus xy, so the derivative of the transform is dg equals df minus the derivative of xy. So then I, I do the plug-in right here. I'm going to say dg. Instead of df, I'm going to come up here and get the, and get the value, so it's going to be x dy plus r ds minus... And I'll make this derivative, so it's going to be x dy minus y dx. Now the only thing left to do is to collect terms, and we're done. You can see that the plus x dy and the minus x dy will drop out, and that's going to leave us with the derivative of this some function g, and it'll be a function now of s and x, will be r ds minus y dx. The reason it's a function of s and x is because that's what can change. We have a ds term, and we have a dx term. OK, let's move on to another one. Here we'll do the rs pair. So we start out by writing down our, our derivative. dg is df minus the derivative of rs. In place, I'm going to plug in, so I have dg. In place of df, I'm going to put the same thing, x dy plus r ds. Then I'm going to take the derivative of the conjugate rs, so it'll be minus r ds minus sdr. And, and then I'm going to turn around and collect terms. So the plus r ds and the minus r ds will go away. And I'll have dg, this time it's a function of y and r, equal to x dy minus sdr. Now we want to apply this to thermodynamics. And in thermodynamics, I like to start with the first law whenever possible. So I'll have the derivative of internal energy will be the path derivative of heat plus the path derivative of work. Then I'm going to substitute in the definitions. Uh, this is the second law definition, but ds is dq over t. So in place of dq, you see where I can substitute in tds. And then the path derivative of work is minus PDV, and we'll put that in also instead of DW. So we have internal energy as TDS minus PDV, a very common starting point. To do the Legendre transform the same way, we know that we will have some new function, which is our old function, DU, minus the derivative of a conjugate pair. Here I'm showing TS to be the conjugate pair, or I could have the old function, the internal energy, minus the derivative of the other conjugate pair, which is PV. And in either case, it's going to give some new function. So let's write the Legendre transform for Helmholtz free energy. What we'll write is our new function, which I'm just going to say here is d Helmholtz, will be, what is the old function? Well, it's internal energy minus a conjugate pair, dts. Now, obviously, it matters what conjugate pair you choose to use. And for the Helmholtz free energy, 
we're going to use TS. And you'll have to remember that or find a way of remembering that if you want to associate with it as Helmholtz. Um, so now I'm going to just make the plug. So I still wrote the new function over here. And then my old function was internal energy. So I have TDS minus PDV. That's the DU or internal energy. Now I'm going to take the derivative of this temperature and entropy. So I'll have minus TDS minus STD. Now the only thing left to do is collect terms and we're done. You can see that TDS and minus STD will cancel. So I've indicated Helmholtz with an A here. I've collected terms and written them down. So I have minus SDT and minus PDV. Minus SDT is here and minus PDV is there. These are the two terms that went away. Uh, so you can see that it is a function of temperature and volume. So I indicated A, a function of temperature and volume, is minus SDT minus PDV. All right, so now we'll do entropy. And the first thing is to write the transform. Now this one's a little bit tricky because the derivative of enthalpy will be the old function du minus the derivative of the conjugate pair. But here, the conjugate pair was minus PV. So minus a minus is going to effectively give us a plus. So then when I do the plug for the derivative of enthalpy, then I'll have TDS minus PDV. That's the U part. And then plus PDV plus VDP. Now the only thing left to do is collect terms and we're done. So in this case, and I've put in H for enthalpy since we know it is, but it's going to be a function of S and P. And we're left with a TDS and a VDP because the minus PDV plus PDV terms disappeared. All right, now let's do enthalpy a second time with the TS conjugate pair. In other words, with this conjugate pair. Note that the function this time will be DH, this function right here, instead of DU. So we're going to write the transform. This one is going to be the Gibbs free energy. I'll write D Gibbs. But we have DH, that'll be our old function minus the derivative of TS, that particular conjugate pair. So then to get D Gibbs, we take the DH, that's TDS plus VDP right there. We bring that down. And then we say minus, and we're going to go ahead and do this derivative, minus TDS minus SDT. Now the only thing left to do is collect terms and we're done. And I put DG, this time G does mean Gibbs. It's going to be a function of pressure and temperature because that's what's varying. Uh, we brought down the VDP term. We brought down the minus SDT term. And the two TDS terms canceled each other out. OK, so that's all I've got for you today. I've shown you how to do the Legendre transforms for Helmholtz as well as Gibbs free energy as well as enthalpy. And uh, I hope you've learned something. Thank you for watching.